right, ladies, let's have some real talk right now. We are going to tackle the subject of female sexual dysfunction. Dr. Dana Reed Kane with Reed's Compounding Pharmacy is here with some information for us. Doctor, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Let's actually start out by talking about the uh, compounding pharmacy because I think maybe some people aren't really sure what that is or how that maybe differs from a traditional pharmacy. Yeah, most people don't understand what yeah. a compounding pharmacy is unless they've visited one or needed to come to visit to get a prescription. Um, we're different than a regular pharmacy. We don't count pills out of a bottle and and just hand them to you. We actually make all the medications ourselves. Wow. So we make creams, suspensions, trochies, which are lozenges, suppositories, injections, eye drops. We make everything from scratch. And the reason that we would do that is either it's not commercially available in that strength or size or dosage form, or maybe you have an allergy to an ingredient um, such as lactose or a dye um, that you can't take um, in a medicine that's commercially available. So we make it up especially for you. It's not manufactured, it's made just for one patient. Um, we do use ingredients that are approved by the FDA, but where our products are not FDA approved. So that's a big question that a lot of people have, um, but we are regulated highly by our state boards of pharmacy and um, we are checking at least yearly on what's going on in our pharmacies to make sure that everything's done correctly. Well, I'm sure somebody that's watching right now said, I am so happy that this is available because this is the answer to something that I've been dealing with probably for a really long time. But today we're gonna kind of narrow some of this down uh, into this female sexual dysfunction. So mm -hmm. let's start with maybe what is it or what causes it? Female sexual dysfunction can happen to women at all ages. Um, it can happen as young as um, childbearing years after you've had a baby. Um, we're busy, we're breastfeeding, we're taking care of you know small children and women have so much pressure on them and they find themselves lacking desire. Um, it can be a side effect of a medication like birth control pills um, that a lot of patients are on. It can be the side effect of an antidepressant. A lot of people take antidepressants and one of the most common side effects of antidepressants are lack of sex drive, um, female sexual dysfunction. And the other thing that happens is when your hormones um, fluctuate, when you reach menopause, perimenopause and beyond, when our hormone levels drop, a lot of people have symptoms of low sex drive. And it may not be a direct symptom, it may be a symptom of I'm not sleeping well anymore, um, I'm not in a good mood anymore because my hormones are out of balance and that in effect can have a downward spiral and affect someone's sex drive. You know, I'm gonna just say this uh, outright. I feel like we have a lot of emphasis maybe on male uh, sexual dysfunction, but I'm glad we're having this conversation when it comes to the women. Um, and I'm curious about how testosterone plays in this role and if this is something that is available to us to be an offset. Women do produce testosterone. Um, it's kind of confusing. So yeah. many people think of it as a male hormone, but it's actually a female hormone as well. Um, it can be reduced uh, when you go into menopause but it can also be reduced earlier on and some medications can actually cause a decrease in testosterone. Testosterone is not commercially available for women, so you can't get it in a traditional pharmacy. It has to be compounded in a compounding pharmacy. Um, so we compound testosterone in creams, um, gels, trochies, which are lozenges that go under the tongue, um, but they have to be prescribed by a physician or another provider that has um, privileges to write prescriptions. Um, so it's not something that you can just go into a a store and buy. Um, and it is regulated as well, and it's important to get your levels tested. Um, doctors or your providers can easily do a, do a lab test to find out if your testosterone is low. And if it is, it can be easily replaced with very little to no side effects. See, I, we're already learning so much uh, from what the compounding pharmacy is to what can help us women. And what I also love is the, the consultations uh, that you do. Tell me a little bit more about that. We have a lot of providers that refer patients to us yeah. for consultations. Um, we meet with patients by appointment. We talk to you about your symptoms. It's in a private setting. Mm -hmm. So it's not in the middle of a regular pharmacy where 10 million people are standing there waiting for right. their prescriptions. Because it is a sensitive subject and people don't want to talk about it in yep. front of other people. So in our pharmacy, you make points you talk with a pharmacist, we can talk to you about your symptoms, your medical history, 
review your labs and talk to you about what your options are, the risks, the benefits, and then we can make a recommendation to your doctor or prescriber. Um, and ultimately, it's up to them to write the prescription, but we do have a really good relationship with a lot of providers here in our community um, that regularly refer our patients to us. You guys even take this one step further and you guys are also offering a free lecture. So this is a lot of education that's coming out. Yeah, we are really big on providing education to our patients and the community. Um, I'm speaking with Dr. Scholes Douglas, a gynecologist here in town. Um, and we're giving a lecture in March on the 2nd. Um, it's called Hormones and Harmony. Um, and we're gonna address a lot of these issues and hormone imbalance and the symptoms that it causes. I think this is, uh one, we've covered so much in just a short amount of time here, and the fact that even more information is available through this lecture or through these consultations or just come in and learn more about what the, uh, the pharmacy can offer. I'm going to reiterate all of uh, that information you okay. just went over and how they can get a hold of you. But, Doctor, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. This was very interesting today. Now, you can attend the free lecture we were talking about titled Hormones in Harmony. That's on March 2nd from 6 to 8 p.m. at 2502 North Dodge Boulevard. Also, make sure to take advantage of their February special, which is 10% off all intimacy products and the consultations. For more details, call 318-4421 or visit reedsrx.com.